Hey friends, what's up? to my youtube channel it's me stepo if you're new here welcome to the family and thank you so much for joining me so as you can already see from the title of the video we're going to be following scott Burns' popular makeup tutorial so scott Burns, for those of you who do not know is the man or can we see the face behind jlo's makeup any makeup you've seen on jlo from her on the carpet tours her projects her interviews when she's performing he's the one who usually does her makeup so i want to give you a brief history about scott Burns. so before he became a makeup artist he was a painter and then he went into makeup he actually says he went into makeup accidentally 28 years and i just shot my 263rd music video last weekend i know okay and over 450 magazine covers and over five films one oscar consideration for one of my films awesome and i've written two books i started out as a fine arts painter mm -hmm. and then became a makeup artist by accident um his makeup technique has become you know very um known across the world because one it's not the way we usually do makeup you know i don't know who even set this standard of when we do makeup or the routine we start with primer foundation concealer contour yani that's what we're always used to um seeing but for him he does things i don't know you will see in this video he starts with contour he, he you know highlights his method is or his technique is very different from like what i'm used to seeing so i did i decided to try it i mean this could go to ways it could get in a thousand it could go you know me looking snatched which is funny because the makeup tutorial he, the makeup look he calls he says it's called natural natural so disclaimer one i do not have all the makeup that he is using because <laughs> are you serious i'm mean, soon soon we shall get there and then too i also do not have all the tools that he's going to be that he uses in the tutorial but there ain't no problem there ain't no problem i think we need to no move problem. on though there ain't no problem huh? there ain't no problem well, baby girl is gonna use what i have already so yeah i'm actually so so excited because i'm ready to learn like a lot of new things and to see if i'm going to probably change the way i do my makeup although i feel like i'm used to to how I do my makeup, my skin is not doing that well. I don't know from here if you can see, but I'm like I'm having a breakout that time of the month. <laughs> so and I also want to apologize in advance for my squeaky chair. And yeah, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but if you're an OG here, you can notice there's like some few changes. Like the level or angle from which you're seeing me, there's like lights. You can already tell that we got this leveling up. I'm actually going to be renovating or not necessarily renovating. I'm going to change my backdrops and everything because it's time. It's time. So right. Let's get into this video. On my face, I don't have anything else. I just have facial oil. I have the Dr. Botanical facial oil. So I'm going to use all nighter, right? Okay. What I like to do with this is to bring it in. And you just use it to like eliminate stuff. And I'm gonna go in ham. Like I'm gonna like, use yes, makeup. Like, like I'm not gonna pretend like. Just drench me. My skin eats makeup. Okay guys, so from what I'm seeing, he's starting with highlighting and he said he goes ham. So honestly, I'm a bit scared, yo. I'm just like, cause this thing could go south. So I'm going to be using my normal concealer and this is the Illegal Pro Conceal in the shade Fawn. I'm so scared, guys, I as in, mean, I don't know. I... <sighs> this is a bit scary. Scary, you're scary. Jesus Christ, I don't know why I'm not trusting myself, but yeah. Another thing, guys, he said he doesn't pry. Before, and it was like that. You don't use primer? For what? I don't what really- do you mean for what? Special brushes. Let's, let's talk about yes. brushes for a second. If we're gonna talk about Jennifer, Jennifer calls this a cat paw. Oh. Because she goes, look, it's like a cat paw. <gasps> I love that. So anyway, um, what I like to do with it is just kind of blend it out and just working into the skin. Now, I'm starting to feel like that guy from, remember who he used to? Okay, so for the brushes, I can see he's using some brush. It's a flat brush. I usually have one, it's just that I'm not seeing it now. Come out, come out, wherever you are. So yeah, so the brush he's using looks like this. Um, mine, and I, I got this, this is the B Small set. I got this from Beauty Bar. 
and as I can see he's just tapping it, the product in so yeah usually I use a beauty blender but Scott Bam said we use this brush or we are gonna use this brush here we Jesus Christ, I can go see this thing just goes well because <laughs> I do is just gently watch. I'm gonna turn your nose just a little bit so that everybody can see this. And I just and you can do this on yourself, which is very easy. Is I blend it up this way. See? For the nose contour, he said he blends it up like like this. Okay, I can almost see. It's like I don't even have a nose. It's like nose eliminated. So yeah. <laughs> but yeah. So one thing I've learned is that blending using a brush helps the the um what's it called the it gives you one full coverage and the makeup will sit she said sit sit down you better sit back down what you mean <laughs> i i don't know guys i i don't know i I'm, I'm scared if i feel like washing everything off and just doing my makeup kawaii down and you two story time maybe <laughs> I hate it here. Okay, this could only go. I, I feel like I've followed. I've followed in nicely. It's just that. <laughs> I swear to God, I look like a flipping clown. Oh my God. Okay, but let's continue. Jaws. We're going to come in with the jaws of life. Yes. Snatched. Snatched the house. So this is what I call, I'm gonna do this look. I actually have named it. Oh, you named this look? Yeah, it's called Snatural. Snatural. It's <gasps> snatched, but natural. I love that it's, so much. It's kind of oh like glowy and hoey. <laughs> yes, where's your merch? You need some. <laughs> She's pretty, she looks natural, but a little bit more. So she's snatural. natural. Mm. Now, if you need to ask how do you deal with the haters, how do you deal with the trolls, like, and that's one of those things early in my YouTube career that so many people. Do you have haters? Oh, sure do. I don't. The whole camp. <laughs> oh, Scott. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> okay, minimizing your forehead now. Like the light's hitting right here, so mm -hmm. I'm just taking it down. That's all. He's okay, guys. So the next thing he's doing is contouring, and he said he was gonna give her jaws of life. So I can see. I feel like he's using a foundation stick. So I'm going to be using the black opal foundation stick, and this is in the shade. What shade is this in? Ebony brown. And I can see he's using like a really, you know, angled brush, but I don't have that. I can see why, because I can see it's already like casting a shadow, so it's giving you the illusion of a flipping jawline. Okay, I can see I'm already, ooh, so witty. Okay, I'm already starting to see like, you know, what's that? I may have a five head, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. I feel like we're gonna do the same here. Okay, okay. That's my two. Okay, okay. I love when you talk to us, Jenny Kikaji. Hey, so my two. We wasn't ready. We wasn't ready. People really mess up with contouring. They over contour and then they drag all this brown into the nose mm -hmm. and into the side of the face. And then they just face turn it later. Let's go into the nose contour and he said he's using he's using like a really thin brush to like you know contour so we're going to like use a really really thin brush okay okay guys you can actually see like you know trick to having a fuller lip is not overlining it to death then he also went to into the lips i feel like i oh <laughs> i feel like my lips went to botched yo 
period okay so next i can see he has started blending things in so we're just gonna blend everything in you know what i mean like that's my that's what we like to hear and then we're gonna use a little bit of lighter foundation because we don't want to take away the contouring So he said he's, he uses a lighter foundation to take away the contour, but I didn't have like a lighter foundation, so I'm just gonna just use very little of my actual foundation and my concealer is like a shade lighter. So we are just gonna you gotta do what you gotta do. So I feel like I'm just gonna mix that all up to see. And then he said he puts it like like here so that it doesn't like take away the because we don't want to take away the contour so yeah he uses a brush although I personally feel like I'm just gonna go in with a beauty blender pro tip guys that I've come to learn is that never take like a clean beauty blender and start from scratch because it is going to take away the product so you just like use a little bit Make sure like it already has product because it's going to lift. I love cream. I think that cream works primarily better than powder for a couple reasons. Mm -hmm. It looks like it's coming from inside the skin. Okay guys, so <laughs> what is going on? I don't know, maybe it's just me overreacting, but anyways, um, so yeah, he said next he goes in with blush, um, blush cream, and I think, uh, I mean, cream blush, that's what I mean. So I, ah, Jesus Christ, I personally don't have that, so I'm just going to go in like with my Kawaii stuff. We said we're going to use what we have. This is the Asmini, um, not Asmini, I keep forgetting stuff from us. Okay, I bought it from Asmini, but this is the previous place. So yeah, we're just going to... And he said, okay, he says he prefers um, blush, bec uh, cream blush because it looks like it comes from the skin. So, and, oof. <laughs> ah! My God! Um, yeah, I feel like I, I put a bit much. Powder. So what powder are you using? You're using your You're, powder. I'm using Petal. She's a little translucent with a tiny tinge of pink in her. And what that does is cancels out any kind of like little bluey, purpley stuff underneath the eye. Honestly, me, I'm not even understanding this procedure. And for him, he says he'd use translucent powder, but um, using the loose finishing powder, I I just don't like, not gonna lie. I mean, that's Scott Barnes, but this is Stefo, and I don't like using the translucent powder because I just don't know. It is what it is. So yes, yeah, so I can see he just like, you know, top of the excess, and then he just uses lightly, like around the eye. Ooh, is that highlight? Yeah. <gasps> Do you know Glowgetter? Private Society. Oh, oh, they actually had sent me some stuff and they're like an indie brand with a lot of cool products actually. I use it Ooh. a lot for highlighters. Love that. Okay guys, and then he highlights the bridge of her nose. Do you see that? You know. So yeah, the bridge of her nose is straight up highlighted. It looks like from a freaking movie. So the brows are done. <laughs> Honestly, if I'm being honest, mini made chalk. I'm just like each tutorial I Okay, so yeah. Today I'm liking I'm liking how my brows look like. So the next thing we're going to go into is the eyes. I'm using my crease brush on this. I love that crease brush. It is pure magic and it has the right shape to do so much. It works. And that's, you know, I was talking about this before that really you can use that one brush if you're just doing a very easy look in a few different colors and you just get a lot of mileage out of it. So what I do with this, just so you guys can, I don't know if you can see this or if it helps, I almost work it in a circle. 
So for the eyes, we are going to be using my Sahara Blush Volume 1 palette. If you don't use this palette, so witty. So yeah. We are going to be going in using the shade. I don't know, do we use Neo or Abby? I feel like we're going to use Abby. Abby is like the darkest shade. So from what he says, he said you work in a circular motion. And yeah, so he goes around the eyeball. Ooh, the hover, top of the excess. Okay, we're going to use a more defined brush. And now I'm just going to blend in those colors. He said in a circle. So that I have a circle. So that I have a circle. So that I have a circle. This is another color of mine. I mean, it's fun to play with color, and this is the kind of color that is not offensive. It's so we're going to look for this. We're going to use this brown shimmer, guys. And he uses his finger to like, you know. Okay guys, so the next thing we're going to do, and that's the last thing, we're just gonna pop on some mascara and then put on some lashes and then I'm gonna come back. Basically, he's, he's like, he's done. Then he's gonna set and yeah. Anyways guys, so we have come to the end of this video. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. I'm not gonna lie. I, I don't even know if this was a miss or a failure. I don't know, there's just something about my makeup today that I'm just like, mm. Okay, one, I have learned a lot, especially when it comes to like technique, but would I use it? I feel like I prefer 10 times the Kawaida. I prefer 10 times the Kawaida makeup routine. And yeah, at some point I did use Psych, because I was just like, mm. but anyways, um, if he does jealous makeup, then there's a reason, you know? <laughs> we don't, we're not gonna have to ask, what was the reason? So yeah, um, I'm not mad. I'm just, I don't know, I, I don't. Also, another thing is I've not done my makeup. I've not worn makeup in like three weeks now. So when you come back to it, it's, I'm almost, I'm almost just like, do I like how my makeup is? I mean, I'm, 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 I'm gonna have to like get back to doing makeup like often because I feel like I'm losing my touch, if that makes any sense. But anyways, it is what it is. Um, I had fun to some extent. I got bored at some point. I don't know if it shows But yeah, sorry if at some point my lighting was a bit off. It's just this LED light that I Got a while back. It's just that I'm still figuring out figuring out how to use it in the beginning Everything was fine until at some point things were just looking a little bit, but yeah Anyways, thank you guys so so much for watching. Don't forget to share comment and subscribe also um, I already started selling my merch so first of all i just want to say thank you to everybody who's ordered your order is coming i promise you it is coming you're going to be receiving it i think by next week most people should have received their orders so yeah anyways <laughs> as i said as i usually say any non ask for you look bugalistic comments shall be deleted and the users quickly and promptly blocked and that's on period anyway guys i'll see you until next time Bye.